the previous video, I created my answer file, so I'm ready to create my boot media. In this video, we're going to create a deployment package, which is required for initiating deployments from the Smart Deploy console rather than USB. From the Smart Deploy console, I'll head to the Activities workspace, click the Reimage Devices tile, and then click Create Media. This will start the media wizard. After clicking Next on the welcome screen, I'll choose which type of media I want to build. The first two options are for using USB drives to boot devices into Smart Deploy. I can select WDS Boot Media if I want to utilize my existing WDS service to boot into Smart Deploy via the network. But since I want to initiate the deployment from the Smart Deploy console, I'm going to select Deployment Package and click Next. When you create any type of media, you'll be prompted to select Platform Packs. This is because some platform packs have drivers specifically for the Smart Deploy pre-installation environment, separate from the Windows drivers. These are typically Ethernet and storage drivers. I recommend you always select all of your packs so that your deployment package is compatible with all of your various computer models. Next, we'll select our previously created answer file. Your answer file will be embedded in this package so that when the target machine boots into SmartPE, the deploy wizard will have all the information it needs to deploy your image without any input from you or the end user. Click Browse, select your answer file, and then click Open, and then Next. You'll have the option to choose 64 or 32-bit for the media architecture. Most modern machines will use 64-bit, so I'll leave the default selected and click Next. Let's give the deployment package a descriptive name so it's easy to identify when we're deploying. I'll choose test-windows10, no apps, and click next. Once I click finish, Smart Deploy will create our boot image, inject the Smart PE drivers if any exist in the platform packs we downloaded, and then we'll be ready to deploy. I've sped this video up so we don't have to wait and see what it looks like when we're done. So let's take a look. When I switch to the Deployment Packages workspace, I can see helpful information like the name, which answer file it's using, the version, and when it was made. Next, we'll deploy our image.